Hey guys, I'll just bring you to the beach with me, or I'm not sure if I'm gonna go to the beach, but I'm gonna do something along those lines today. Yeah, I thought I'd just uh, vlog that out with you guys and um, bring you along. Bring you along. The power like weirdly went out, so I am at my place with no power right now, which is odd, but whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna be leaving the house anyway, so. So I'm here by the beach, and it's a beautiful day. Yeah, the power weirdly went out, my town, but I'm here in Portland, and yeah, I'm just yeah, I'm just gonna go by the water and just kind of like hang out. Uh, yeah, just drink my iced coffee. Obviously, I have to get my iced coffee. Like, I'm in love with iced coffee. I can't live without it. It's an addiction, but it's a one I will gladly be a victim of. really beautiful over here this is some kind of historic bridge from a ship i've never actually I've always known this was here but i've never actually looked at like what it is so, so i get it this is the bridge from the uss portland looks like it was a pretty like important ship or is you know significant it says Portland is signaled out for surrender ceremonies among all the famous ships of the Pacific Fleet. Admiral Chester Nimitz selected her to accept the surrender at Truk, oh, the great Japanese naval base. The signing took place on September 2nd, 1945. Same hour as more widely known ceremonies on the battleship Missouri. That's pretty cool, I didn't know that. Welcome to the USS Portland, honoring those who serve. Displayed here are the USS Portland bridge, shield, and ship's bell. The men who died aboard the Portland and other Navy ships. It's like pretty cool. I'm kind of glad they have this. Good talk that kamikazes and skippers surely knew. The skippers surely knew that Mother Nature is something different. Damn. Those kamikazes are... This is, cra this is pretty cool. I never actually, like, I knew this was here, but I've never actually, um, like, you know, seen, you know, actually learned about what this bridge, you know, where it came from and what ship it was from. Got the beautiful harbor over here. As you can see, it looks pretty busy. It's a weekend. Oh, it's super beautiful over here. There's Fort Gorges. Oh, it's a fun little destination to visit. And there's Peaks Island. It's beautiful. It's really beautiful over here. dedicated to the memory of those men who served aboard the USS Portland. It's really cool. And I've never actually, like, um, I've never actually, I mean, I know this was here, obviously, but I've never actually, like, read about it. That's pretty, that's cool. So this is the bridge that was in at the Pacific, like, theater, I think that's what they call it. Wow, that's pretty cool. This is cool. It's kind of like, now that I actually think about, like, this was in the Pacific Ocean on a ship that was on the USS Portland, obviously, that was being in the Pacific Theater. That is so neat. That's cool. Wow. I wonder what actually happened to the boat itself. Like, where did it go? Or, like, you know, it was probably just, you know, taken apart for scrap, but I'm just wondering what you know, what that process was like, and if there's any other sort of artifacts from this ship. There, there it is, I think that's the USS Portland. 
Oh, there's a picture of it. Oh, and they have in blue the this is the mast or the not the mast the bridge. I sound like an idiot. The bridge from and this is the little triangle I'm standing on or whatever shape. That's really cool. Wow, that is so cool. Damn, never never really took the time to you know drive by this place every like day practically, and I never really took the time to uh, to kind of read about what this monument was that's cool i know there's another i'll turn the camera around in a second there's another there's like a bow of another ship uh over across the harbor like another i guess historically important ship because they have the bow preserved on the harbor kind of over in south portland maybe i'll go over there and take a look at it and read about it kind of interesting once you take the time to actually read about it and you know look with these what these artifacts actually are. South Portland and its Liberty ships. I like this picture. This is really cool. 1832. You can see definitely Portland in there. I mean, the skyline has definitely gotten bigger and changed, but you can definitely see that's Portland. There's Montjoy Hill. That's a cute picture. Maine is a veritable cradle of Americanism. During over three centuries, Maine has been a stronghold of American shipbuilding. Maine ships have sailed the seven seas. This is so cool. So I guess this big bow here is a memorial to the Liberty ships that came from South Portland. So Maine is a big shipbuilding area and when the war ended so the need for Liberty ships in the shipyards in 1996 it was turned into a park this area. That's really cool if you just take the time to stop and look at you know the stuff around you you kind of learn a lot of cool stuff. This picture shows the Liberty ships bringing in supplies for the troops um, during D-Day. That looks crazy. Wow. I don't know that. Some of those were built here. That's really cool. Learn sometimes. It's so cool. Wow. So I guess that's South Portland right there. So cool. So that was pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff you just can pick up, you know, you don't know, like, until you just take the time to kind of, like, open your eyes and, you know, I guess check stuff out. I mean, I knew this was here, like, for forever, like, these things, but I never really took the time to actually, like, read about it. And so I guess a lot of the ships for World War II used on both fronts were built here in South Portland, which is super cool. Uh, you know, I'd love to be part of that and part of the... Um, you know, Mainers, probably a lot of people, you know, had family that either worked here um, and held the ships for the war effort. That's so cool. History is so cool. Here's a picture of Liberty ships shown in the background for D-Day troops. That looks awful. I mean, like, that scenario looks awful, but um, I guess a lot of those ships were built here. That was pretty interesting. I had known those monuments were there, but I had never taken the time to stop and look and read about uh, what they, you know, what they actually were. And it was pretty cool to see that that bridge was actually on a ship uh, fighting Pacific Ocean. And now it's here on the east end, which is, I mean, it's pr that's pretty cool. Anyway, I didn't get to the beach because today's weather was not the best beach weather, but that was pretty that was pretty fun anyway. Thank you guys for watching. Please like this video and hit subscribe.